It is like feels quite empowering to figure out a new city on your own in a foreign country. Hi, my name is Alana. I am a full-time video content creator here in New York City. And today I'm going to be talking about my trip to Berlin, Germany. I think I spent around five or six hundred dollars on the trip. So I was working in, with a travel group previously in Scandinavia and they actually paid for my tickets to that trip. I decided to extend the tickets and stay like a long weekend. Four days prior, looked at a map, looked around and saw like what looked interesting in Berlin sounded like a good choice. So I just booked the trip from Copenhagen to Berlin and then I changed my flight so I could fly out from Berlin to New York City. So I didn't have to pay for that, which was really nice. I didn't have a set budget going into this trip, but I did have a frugal mindset. This is my second solo trip. I didn't have any friends that could join, but I still wanted to travel. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna do it myself and figure it out. I love solo travel every now and then. I think it's an incredible way to clear your head, to be able to do whatever you want. You don't have to be on anyone else's schedule. And as cheesy as it is, it is like feels quite empowering to figure out a new city on your own in a foreign country. On day one, I flew into Berlin to get to my hostel from the airport. I ended up only being around $30 because I took public transport. So I stayed in Berlin for full four days. I stayed at the East Seven Hostel because since I was traveling solo, I like was hoping to meet some people so I wouldn't be alone the whole time. It was pretty central so I could walk around to different spots and they included free breakfast, which is a huge plus. So I decided to get a private room instead of a shared poet dorm hostel room. So you can even save more money if you don't mind sharing your room, but I figured I would, you know, level up a little bit and get myself a private room. Later that day, I went to Mauer Park. Cause on Sundays they have this really incredible flea market that essentially feels like this big music festival which I was not expecting it really blew me away there was like live music and all these little vendors and it was packed and it was sunny and everyone was having like a great time and I literally felt like I was like in the middle of this big music festival once I arrived in Berlin I posted my Instagram story just to kind of see who was around and I ended up like reconnecting with this gal that I like vaguely knew in high school that for some reason was living in Berlin and so we went to a concert. I think it's always really special to see an artist you love in a foreign country. So I saw Together Pangea, which is actually this like California band I grew up listening to like in high school and college. So it was so fun to see them in this like tiny little venue in the middle of Berlin. Day two breakfast was included at the hostel. And so I had some lovely toast with butter and jam, some cereal, some coffee, all included in my host. Part of the reason I was really interested in going to Berlin is just like the incredible history there. I feel like Berlin is a center point for all this like tumultuous history and I wanted to learn more about it. And so I decided to do a walking tour. A lot of European cities offer free walking tours and it's just by tip, which is huge if you wanna learn more about where you're at and save money. And so I did that through Sandsman Tour Group and it was a three hour walking tour. We explored a bunch of Berlin. I saw a lot of like famous historical spots and memorials and just learn more about the city and its its past which is really fascinating it was interesting seeing the berlin wall which separated east and west berlin during the cold war and so it was really interesting seeing like the juxtaposition of the two differences during that era and the way it's changed berlin today as well so i feel like when i travel solo i end up kind of just eating on the cheap especially when it's just by myself i'm like what's you know might as well just like grab a sandwich and go so I went to House of Small Wonder for dinner, and that was my one like treat myself dinner. Had a lovely little meal, read a book, took myself on a date. It was just, it was good, it was cute. So for day three, I ended up going thrifting. They had a really great selection. I love thrifting in Europe. They have some of the best clothes. I think I got two sweaters and a ring for about like $65, $70. I think that was my biggest splurge. And then treated myself to dinner yet again, and then ended up just walking around with like earbuds and people watching. So on the last day, I decided to hop on over to a museum. I ended up walking. One of my favorite things to do when traveling solo in a city is just to like put in earbuds and listen to music and just watch people. And Berlin has great street art as well. So it's fun to take that in. And then I walked to Museum Island, which is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site, fun fact. They have student discounts. And I think my ticket was 12 euros. I ended up visiting the News Museum and it was beautiful. I saw the bust of Nefertiti. She's so stunning. It was really cool to see it kind of like transports you back in time. So I ended up grabbing dinner that night with the friend from high school that I talked about earlier. Got some great food for about $8. And then we decided to do a little pub crawl. A lot of hostels offer them. Um, mine was $10. 
And then we ended up going to the Trezor nightclub because I wanted to see a little bit of that Berlin iconic like clubbing scene. And the cover for that was $15. Um, so the next morning I checked out of my hostel. Also, as I was walking around on the last day, I saw like a random photo booth in the street, which was just kind of bizarre, but I was into it. And I took a little photo booth strip so I could stick it in my journal and like write about it later. Took an Uber to the airport and then I flew back to New York City. So out of this trip, I was hoping to learn more about Germany, more about Berlin, I'd never visited before. I wanted to take some time for myself just to kind of clear my head from the chaos of New York. My only regret is that I wish I could have stayed longer. I was literally this close to extending it. I definitely want to spend more time in Berlin. For traveling overall, something I try to tell friends is that it's doable. Like you don't have to be super rich or super well off to make it happen. If you really want to go somewhere and you're willing to be frugal and save and put yourself out there outside your comfort zone, it's super doable. And so um, I always try to push friends to, you know, go after it and try it out for themselves.